Hi, Jeff Berman, United Hollywood Live. We are in downtown LA at Busby's on Wilshire Boulevard. It's Band-Aid tonight. It's an event that's supporting the people below the line to help them out, the ones that are affected by the strike the most. And right now with me, Patrick Verone, president of the Writers Guild of America. Patrick, hi. Hi, Jeff, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for taking a few minutes. You're here to give a speech tonight, I believe? I just have a few words to say to thank everybody who uh, contributed tonight, Catherine Bouget, who was responsible for this event. Uh, this is our chance to, to give something back. Uh, we've been out for 13 weeks and it's had an impact not only on our members uh, and the talent community, but uh, everybody in this town, especially the folks below the line, and we want to make sure that they understand that, that we know they're there, uh, we respect them, and we want to uh, give something back. This is a tough time for members right now. We are sort of in the, the crunch period, that crunch time where you know things could go either way. Tempers are flaring, I know mine have flared up once in a while. People are really hot under the collar. What do you say to the Guild? What do you say to the members right now? You know, there's a lot of pressure out there. We're all feeling it. The important thing is to stay resolved, to stay unified. Uh, our ability to stick together, to show solidarity, uh, is exactly what we need to convince the other side uh, to continue to negotiate, uh, negotiate in good faith, and, and give us a contract. Uh, if we uh, split up, if we... Uh, uh, lose that solidarity, uh, they take advantage of it big time. A lot of rumors going around right now. Do you want to comment on it? Can you tell me, are we close? Do we know? You know, there's a press blackout. I, I can't comment. Uh, all I can say is that uh, the rumors are never true. Let me ask you this. Why did we drop animation and reality? Because I know that was a very important and a key issue to us when we started this strike. It was a very, very difficult and heartbreaking decision as an animation writer myself to see uh, uh, both of those issues dropped. Uh, we had to make sure that our ultimate goal to get a good contract for every writer was achieved and taking advantage of that division in our membership was, was hurting everybody. Um, the campaign to, to get animation writers, uh, residuals and health care and, and pension uh, coverage and to get reality writers any coverage at all is, is still a vital one for, for this union and we'll continue to fight for it uh, over the, uh, the course of this struggle and, and, and beyond. People are saying that there is a core group that are threatening to go fi core, which is financial core, if we just don't take the deal blindly, whatever it is. Do you, is this something you've had to address? Do you talk to these people? Do you want to confirm whether it's true or not? I, I won't confirm that it's true because I, I haven't talked to anyone who's made that threat directly. I know we have a lot of members out there who are feeling intense pressure, uh, financial and, and emotional and every other way to, uh, uh, to, to, to get this strike ended and, and people say things, but, but so far, uh, to my knowledge, that has not been a, an, a, a force that's had any real effect on, on our strategic planning, uh, on the other side, and uh, on the way this uh, uh, struggle is continuing. Key question. How long are you willing to strike? How long is a piece of string? As long as it needs to be. There you go. Hey, Patrick, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time. Good luck with your speech tonight. Oh, sure. Once again, United Hollywood Live. I'm Jeff Berman. We're here at Busby's. Thanks very much for being with us.